but water is always uh, welcome. So starting the game here against Metal, I have now the Burbers, and he's playing with the Slavs. So basically, two civilizations that can play strong with cavalry in his case and in mine and also infantry because they have awesome infantry the slaps their economy is great because of the farm bonus so I guess the biggest problem dealing with the slaps is going to be the economy hello Stark hello man let's see how this will go I already know what's the biggest issue. Are you in ECL? Oh come on, the bot didn't answer you? What the fuck man, where's the bot? Damn it. Well no, I'm not in ECL and I just uh, programmed the bot so he would tell you this but it seems that the motherfucker bot is sleeping. Oh, thanks, 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 yeah. Thanks bot. <laughs> thanks Bowman for helping me here to set up the bot. Lazy fuck not doing its work. Huh? So guys, this map has a big issue. Uh, the gold is on the front, and if you it, and if you take a closer look, the two stones are close together on the left side, which is terrible. It's a really really bad position to have your two stones huh? together. One thing you never know, never want, is to have stones together like that. It really makes the enemy lives much easier. And we don't want to make enemy life easier, right? We want, we want to make it really difficult. You want enemy to resign even when they are pressuring you for like 20 minutes like Swig did today. Okay, I just managed to kill the boar, bring the ship back to the town center and I will even risk lure a deer here because it's still 4 minutes and maybe with some lucky I can do a good lure here and have some extra food on my town center which is always welcome. Oh I just passed way too much and now surrounded by the trees, not the best position. Well, the deer will come back some of some other time. Huh? Here is it. Maybe one more. Yeah, one more is possible. Nah, maybe not. Let's not be greedy. One deer is enough of an advantage. I will go and explore meadow. It's too late, and I'm not in my full capabilities now to perform this kind of tricks. Huh? Oh fuck. What a terrible board lure. <laughs> I'm just making a few palisades and this is a good map to deal with rushes. So I really wanted Meadow to try and rush me but my goats are, ter are terrible. They are out the front and I didn't even find the other two because I'm looking for him already. And if you also pay attention, I have terrible stones both together. Stones together is never a good thing. I would try even to go for a second lumber camp here, because this wood seems safe. It looks safe, huh? And I'm going for, for population 22. Not going to be greedy today, just playing the basics. There's his stone. Time for the loom. Depends muito. Yeah. Depends a lot. Bowman is asking how much deers until I go there. One stone's blocked by the woods. Yeah, partially blocked. This is bad if I try to go for uh, camel archers later. It's truly bad. 
I will make a palisade here. Only two tiles will give me so much more mobility. Oh, and Metal didn't find his ship, huh? That were that were on at his face. Too bad for him. Too good for me. Let me now make another few palisades here on that wood. Now I feel much more protected. That is really good position. And if I manage to bring those two extra, extra ships to my town center, my economy is going to be really good. Here comes his rush, it's a bit delayed. It's already 10 minutes, so he's not doing a good rush as well. If you look at the time, but maybe he's going for men at arms. Oh, it's not a rush, it's a men at arm approach. Eh? And I was here, oh, nothing, nothing. Think about the rush. Eh? How stupid me. But I already take the protective measures that I could against the rush. Let me do some upgrades and see if I can find some some good spot there. Nice one, getting the ship. No hurry to make the scouts, which is terribly good for me. He's going to attack the gate, okay. I can live with it. But man, the problem with the gate is that your enemy always can attack it really fast. Because it's easier to have. Yeah, I might be able to mine it, but only with like three villagers, man. Which is still a problem anyway. Oh fuck, he did a spearman there. Ah. Damn it. I would do a spearman as well. I'm just repairing the gate. And I will try to go for a few skirmishers. Oh, archers coming already. Maybe I will be forced to make a secondary gate here. All my goals are together, which sucks a lot. It forces me to some bad situation here. No metal. I just got two of his archers on the way. Once I have one skirmisher here, I will make his life a lot difficult. Yep, I already I'm now making his life a lot difficult. Only because of this single skirmisher. This lonely hero of us of ours here. But still I need to have at least ten skirmishers if I want to do some proper damage on this guy. No, not ten. Maybe less but still some good number. Lots of villagers on the go, eh? Nice to know that he's being able to afford it. If I were him, I would try to go and tower my, my gold here. Ooh, two spearmen. No, don't want to fight them. Thanks. Thanks for the proposal. I refuse. More farms, more farms. More houses, more skirmishers, more town watch, so I can see when the shit happens actually. Oh, and he's coming here on the other side, huh? Eh? 
Oh, he was actually smart. He didn't came for it. Only one archer, so I don't think I'm in risk there. Just deal with one of the spearmen. Deal with the other one. Now I can just gather all my my skirmishers and deal with this guy for good. Preparing to go forward here. With scout and skirmishers. Still have some idol, huh? And I will try to do some houses forward here. Those houses mission is to prevent him from attacking me. Oh, he's coming back over there. Only one skirmisher will be enough to deal with this. Well, I'm annoying a bit his units. I don't think I will be able to stop the tower, but at least I could delay him a bit. Oh, come on, leave my villager, man. It's being annoying. I'm trying to find some opportunity to raid, to do something different. Oh fuck. Two spearmen over there, killing my scouts. Well, it seems that the villagers, the skirmishers have deal with the men at arms. And I can try to put some more pressure on this guy now. Oh, I'm going to make this wood so fucking idle. Okay, he's on castle already, so I didn't expect him to be so fast to castle. Oh, and some archers are here on my base. Oh my fucking god, those archers are going to be a fucking huge problem for me. It will force me to make a tower, damn it. Look at those crossbowmen here. That's something terrible. That's the last thing I wanted, to face all those crossbowmen here at my base, expose it like this. I'll try to go for full knights to compensate for it. Scouts are coming back, the skirmishers are dying to a fucking knight, huh? Great. Is the knight upgraded? Nope, so he will try to keep with the crossbowman. At least some good news. Damn it. That was a fucking bad fight for me. I lost all my scouts, he upgraded so much earlier. Now I have to deal with crossbowmen. <laughs> and doesn't care how many villagers I have on this stone. 
because it's not going to allow me to do some great things here for now. I should have walled more, so I maybe wouldn't need to use all those. those knights here but anyway I'm out of timing to have this conversation it already happened the shit is here I just have to deal with this right now I'm trying to make more outposts to see the things and see the knights approaching. Oh, he's making more knights eh? to support and some spearmen as well. I might need to make a gold. Oh, I just saw he, that he has now the pikeman. So this guy wants to push me. It leaves me no choice but going ready for a castle now. With no castle there, I might not be able to hold the push. For now, I can still survive because the plus two knights are great, but later, I don't know what kind of weird shit can happen. Mm, that's some great fights. Oh fuck, he just killed one of my villagers, I didn't manage to, to save it. And I will try to fight before he gathers more pikemen together with that army. What a fucking mess this guy's doing. Well, I'm dealing with this, this first threat. Yeah, it was a good call to fight before he had the numbers. All my pike, uh, all my knights are hurt now from the fighting that took place here. But I still managed to win the fight, so it was good. Now I can reel those guys with some monks. Oh, some other some other pikemen coming. Okay, that was some good fighting. I'm happy with what I did here. And having that much army means that I can even try to go for some siege to put pressure only in order to make the castle because I will be making the castle soon. And I can use some siege to to put pressure on this guy. Look at the amount of hurt knights that I have. All those knights deserve a second chance, guys. Oh fuck, he just tried to all my knights here. That's terrible, I'm not finding a way out. This guy truly making my, li my life difficult. Okay, he just walled me. Nice one, Stark, you just got walled. I'm going out, dude, sorry deal with this. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Monks, monks and more monks. How many monks can someone have? Uh, can someone do? There should be a limit of 10 monks maximum per game, guys. Please follow this idea of maximum of 10 monks. You cannot make more than 10 monks during the game and they have to cost like 800 gold. What do you guys think about that? That's my balance balance chance, yeah. So here am I with my three monks. 
and scorpions going forward and I will already bring the villagers to make a forward castle here and screw with his town center time for another town center over here to make great use of that gold And even some runs can be used in this situation here. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, a knight. Okay. Don't worry, I have a monk. And he's going to lose several knights there. Yeah, please, come and convert my, my knights. Now he lost all the monks in order to make the conversions. I don't know if it was a good idea for him. GG, GG. The Berbers are truly awesome. I honestly think that I played more like a slave than he did because going for scorpions like that and knights, mass knights because of the farms would be a more slavic thing. He did two really expensive upgrades. He upgraded the pikeman, he upgraded the crossbowman. When a player usually tries to do multiple upgrades for his army in early castle and he doesn't have many villagers to support, if you just pressure him full with a big army like I did here with the three stables, you will probably go into win the first battles. Using the monks I was able to heal my army and taking out the town center would cost a lot for his economy. His map was bad for defending. It was not a great map to, pay, to play with as, la as, as the slabs. My map was not so cool because of these front goads. So I was forced to play more aggressive in order to not allow him to push me. So I just couldn't sit down and booming. Now I was going for the 40 C, 51, so I would compensate for that. And that was it. GG. The monks are indeed good, but... Well, we had the same number of villagers, but the military count was better for me. 